Stanford, Oregon State coming up. It has been an incredibly difficult 48 hours for this program, though. You see Haley there wearing the Stanford soccer T-shirt in her warm-ups in honor of Katie Meyer, the team captain and goalkeeper for the Stanford women's soccer team who passed away on Tuesday. Meyer very well known for leading Stanford to a national championship with saves in a penalty shootout win over North Carolina in 2019. The news has obviously shaken the entire Stanford community, the women's basketball team, especially close with Meyer. And these are two very tight-knit programs, always at each other's games. Meyer on the parade route you see here last year when Stanford arrived home from their national championship in San Antonio. Now, the players organized a candlelight vigil when they arrived here to Las Vegas last night, and many of the players will have tape with her initials, number 19, on their wrist today. All of us at the Pac-12 continue to send our condolences to her family, parents, and sisters. Anna Wilson, certainly one of the biggest leaders on this team, warming up now. She had the team, I'm told, sleep over at her apartment the night they found out. And this is a Stanford squad that had expectations of flying here, defending their Pac-12 tournament, and then getting up ready to go on the road and defend their NCAA championship. Roz, as a Stanford grad, you know how tight-knit the student-athlete community is. It's it's really special on the farm. Yeah, um, teams often eat together, um, often find ways to be roommates together across different um, sporting like groups and teams. Uh, we'll often go to each other's games and support, um, especially you know female to female teams. I know that was the case here. Um, it's something the entire community, even me as an alum wears heavily and feels um, and I know that these you know young women here on the court today have an opportunity to channel that into something that that emotion into a tribute and also just kind of maybe even let it go and be free on the court um, but you don't shake that off easily and I know they wear it with them here today and, and I would just say for Stanford if they can somehow find inspiration in how inspiring she was to watch her. She was a star. She had so much moxie and confidence. Never forget how fired up she was in that national championship game when she won the shutout essentially at that keeper spot where all pressure is on you. And we just lost a, a bright and shining star. And, you know, thoughts and prayers and um, with everybody in the Stanford community with her family. Yeah, that's very well said. And I think one of the things, and you mentioned this earlier too, you never know how it's going to impact you. I think you guys, you both played a lot in your careers. There are certain things that you deal with when you try and go out on the court and, and it just shows up differently.